Hi everyone. Today I wanted to talk about um, some of the symbols that we rely on uh, in our relationships, thinking that it would um, become proof of our lovability or how other people feel about us. Um, particularly, I wanted to talk about these words, I love you, that we all crave so much. Um, it's so enjoyable to hear. And yet, I've had these cases in my own life and uh, in uh, working with my clients where even when the words are finally spoken to us, we don't quite uh, feel them in the way that we expected to. Um, because what's happening is that there is a certain over-reliance on symbols. Uh, we over-rely on language, we over-rely on um, the courting symbols where, um, hello cat, uh, the courting symbols where um, we have certain behavior means something about, once again, what's, what's going on in our relationships. And what I am finding uh, through my own research, observing my own body, and through learning and work with others is that the way we actually interact with others is on an energetic level. It comes from emotional attunement. So somebody with whom you're very much attuned doesn't have to do much. They don't have to say, I love you. They don't have to uh, play the courting game. Um, but yet you'll feel connected beyond, uh, beyond language. In the same way, lately I am, um, I found out um, that in the latest neuroscience uh, research, what guarantees secure attachment in childhood or what aids secure attachment in childhood is emotional attunement of parents. So we've been conditioned to think that having a roof over a child's head, having food on the table is what's important and of course these are important basic uh, needs. However, our needs are so much more. The emotional attachment is guaranteed through being present in the moment, in the now, and receiving information and um, sending information in the now. And what often happens in the way we relate, because we're also disconnected from our bodies due to trauma and because we, we've been taught to, to shun our emotions and nobody has really taught us how to process them, we live disconnected from our bodies. So often we don't have access to the sensory information that we could receive in the now. We often judge other people, prejudge other people on um, something that we've learned from our culture, from, our, uh, from the messages we've received as children, and we're not even open to receive the information as it's coming to us, as it's streaming to us in the now. So what I'm trying to say is that so much information comes from the energetic exchange when we are in the presence of other people. And if we're all closed in on ourselves, closed in in our pain, closed in in our trauma, disconnected from our bodies, we're not really participating in the emotional exchange in the present moment. So people who are in our presence don't feel connected to us. They don't have access to that sense of safety of being seen and understood by the other person. Same thing with us. Because we're not connecting in the present moment, we're not in reaction to the information, energetic information that's being streamed at us now, we're frozen in, in the past where, especially when we're triggered by a word or an action, we're transported to something that happened in the past. We're not able to connect in the present moment, so there is no safety 
there is no relational safety that's happening in the now. So all of the relationship advice, which I've already spoken against, where you have to go on a date several times a week, or you have to have sex three times a, a week or a month, or you have to say, I love you, you know, five times a day. To me, it's so nonsensical because it's so staged. It's so out of the surface relating uh, through symbols rather than emotional attunement. And that is why we have to force the sex and the words of love because if we were attuned emotionally, if we both were, well, however many of us in relationship, were feeling safe, everything else would be coming out naturally. We would naturally connect physically and create intimacy. We would naturally express ourselves either in words or gestures or acts. Um, we would express what we feel in the moment. So what I'm trying to say by all this is that we're looking for love in all the wrong places. We're looking for love from symbols that are that are not really dealing with the depth of what we of the connections that we seek, um, and it's our it's our disconnect disconnection from our bodies and from the emotional material that is stored there. Our fear of going into pain, our fear of going into discomfort, that prevents us from properly connecting. Um, with the other people in our lives in order to create that emotional attunement that then creates that sense of safety to be in the presence of, of this particular person. So I just wanted to share this today and tell you that these are some of the things that I will be speaking uh, during my master class on Tuesday, September 21st. Uh, please uh, use the link in my bio to to access uh, the link to access to register and I hope to see you there welcome your comments or reactions or questions if you have anything uh, to respond to this particular video thank you and I'll see you next time